Cowboy fans out there. This is Will again coming at y'all with another video. Hey guys, real quick. This is a real quick video. I just got through watching a replay of the uh, Dallas Cowboy uh, versus LA Rams game last night preseason. Um, I know I made my review about it and um, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things. Really, really just one thing. Uh, Rico Gathers. <laughs> oh my God. This guy, I'm telling you, man, this guy is an absolute beast. He is going to be something to behold. This guy is an extreme talent. He is going to be at 6'7", 290 pounds. He's pretty much going to be un an unstoppable. If coached right, if coached right, and he has Jason Witten to mentor him, he has the best a Hall of Fame, a future Hall of Fame tight end in his presence to, 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 that is there, that is still playing, that can mentor this kid. And uh, the sky's the limit for him. I mean, he has the best. He has a good coaching. Then he has Jason Witten on top of that. And he should be able to get all the knowledge and just endure all the knowledge of Jason Witten. Because Jason Witten still has maybe two, maybe three years left in him, you know, the way he takes care of himself or whatnot. So, um, I don't know. You know, nobody knows the clock. You can't beat by the time. Um, you know, maybe he has a shorter time. Who knows? But... Um, Jason Witten is probably one of the greatest tight ends of all time. Uh, and he will be a Hall of Fame. But back to Rico, man. Um, he's an unstoppable force. If you can score at will, like he, like he's been doing, uh, last game and, and the game last night, uh, he, he's catching balls on people. You know, two and three guys on him. He's still catching passes and, 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 and uh, getting big gains and, and scoring touchdowns, you know. He, he has very strong hands. He's, uh, uh, his route running is pretty much almost at an excellent point. You know, there's still things he has to work on, obviously, because he's a rookie. Um, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, he's the best route runner in the world. No. But as a rookie, his, out, his, his uh, route running is pretty damn good uh, if he's able to get in the end zone. Now, um, you had Cooper Rush come in last, you know, last night at, at, uh, at you know, the second string quarterback. And, you know, behind um, more. Um, like I said in my video yesterday, I think Cooper Rush should be the second string quarterback behind Dak. But um, you know, who knows what Gary's going to do on that? On that, you know, that's up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Uh, both of them have different styles. Uh, I'm not saying Kellen Moore is an awful quarterback, but I just feel that uh, Cooper Rush is a lot more smoother, a lot more calmer. And he's able to, you know, uh, have patience in the pocket and find that open man. You know, the, like I said last night, the whole mood changed in the game when Cooper Rush got in. You know, he was just calm, cool, and collected, kind of like Dak is back there in the pocket. So that's what kind of quarterback you need. You know, you don't need somebody that's just going to get I was watching Kellen Moore, and he was just all over the place. And, and plus, he's a left-handed guy, and it's kind of really difficult for them, you know. And uh, he's just, don't, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know how to explain it, you know. And that's bad if I don't know how to explain, you know, one of our quarterbacks, you know, his style or whatever. And his unorthodox style. But um, anyway, guys, you know, when Cooper Rush got in the game, he hit, you know, Rico Gathers with that touchdown pass once again. And imagine when Dak gets in the game. <laughs> it's going to be an unstoppable force. So, you know, with Zeke Elliott out on a suspension and things like that, you know, probably going to try to appeal. Well, he is going to appeal. He has appealed. Um, I don't know if Roger Goodell is going to, you know, shorten that, uh, that that suspension or whatever, but he's going to be out if it's two games, three games, six games. Who knows? You know, uh, I, I'm saying I'm already putting in my mind that it's, he's going to be out for six. I always think the worst. You get what I'm saying? Because when 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 – you know, you, you get your hopes up for, oh, well, he's going to appeal and he's going to be out just six games, I mean, uh, two games, you know. And then you get your feelings hurt and he out six, you know, you'd be, you'd be screwed. But so I always think the worst. So I'm thinking the worst and he's going to be out for six games. And uh, we, we still got, you know, Rico gathers. <laughs> we got so many weapons in Witten and, 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 and Beasley and Williams and, and, and Dez and Dak and Switzer and uh, Morris and... and <laughs> Man, I, it, we shouldn't have an issue. Defense looked great last night. Defense looked really, really good, especially the run defense. Um, we just need to 
get on top of the ball when there's a fumble. They need to create practices where if somebody fumbles, get on it, you know. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they'll work on that. But, you know, that's pretty much all I got, guys. I just really wanted to really focus this video on Rico Gathers and how talented this guy is and how dominant he could be in the NFL once the season starts. Uh, when we run uh, two tight end sets, look out, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> look out. Just just look out, man, because when you got two tight ends set, you got one blocking, one going out for a pass, or both of them blocking, or both of them going out on routes, and along with Dez and Williams and Witten and Beasley and Switzer and, and you know, maybe Noah Brown. or maybe, Oh, oh ah, shit, I forgot. Damn, Bryce Butler, he's going to make the roster. We already know that. That's another Dez right there. So, guys, there, we shouldn't have any issues, man. I'm out. Video's over. It's time. I can't wait till next week. I, I'm glad football. Don't you love football season? It's something every week. It's been something, hell, every day pretty much. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We got a game about to come on right now. Uh, Seattle versus the Chargers, you know. So, hey, man, football is here, guys. I love it. Hey, shout outs to everybody. All the other YouTubers making videos. Shango, Lazy Lowe, Mark Holmes. Uh, Law Nation, you know, Cowboys blog, everybody. Um, Dallas Cow how about them Cowboys? Uh, if I if I'm missing anybody, man, God, I'm sorry. You know, y'all know who I'm talking about. But hey, subscribe, leave a like, holler back at your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I can